but all right guys so it's about 5 30. we're checking on bud and sadie Bud's pretty happy that I'm back. Gonna be bringing him back to Mammoth with me today. So they're gonna, normally I have him with me all the time, but we were doing so many hours that, uh, I had him at home too much by themselves, you know, the whole day, so. I left him down here with Lori. And now we're uh now that I got a chance to come back, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring him with when I go back. And so they'll kinda hang out. They usually kinda ride around with me throughout the day and go to the different jobs and things like that. So we're gonna get back to that. Alright, so Sadie and Bud are ready to go. Stay. You stay right there. Stay. Don't go. Ready, go. <laughs> well, he was too excited. All right, guys. This morning we are headed down to Quinn Cat. Uh, Mike's in the truck with the two skid steers. I got Sadie and Bud rolling with me. There's Sadie. Bud's over there can't hardly see him behind the seat there but uh so we are gonna run down and see daniel over at quinn <clears throat> he's uh he's our sales rep they've uh been with us for i don't know going on about 10 years now we've been buying equipment from them he's been great to us he helped us when we started the snow business we uh we bought our first skid steers from quinn and they've just given us excellent support and anybody that needs heavy equipment uh, i would definitely recommend talking to those guys they uh, they're really helpful supportive knowledgeable in all aspects of their equipment uh, they know everything about what they're selling and they also give you good support uh, when it comes to um you know maintenance and any kind of issues you may have because you know when you're running heavy equipment you're definitely going to run into issues but uh yeah so let's go down there and see uh how that goes and we'll we'll check back in shortly Super happy to be back with his dad. He's gonna road trip with me. Him and Sadie are gonna road trip with me to Mammoth. We're gonna be heading up there tonight or late afternoon. So we'll uh, we'll follow along with that as things progress throughout the day. Just pulled into Quinn. Gonna see if we can get them to open the gates up for us. And we'll get on back there and uh, get these machines off the trailer. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Daniel a call real quick, see if we can't get the gate opened. I don't know if that's got a, a sensor. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let me see, I'll go up there. Pull up there and check it out. <laughs> All right, looks like the uh, mechanic's gonna let us out. We go on in here.
find a spot back here in the back where we can uh, set this trailer up and get this stuff off. Alright, I think we're gonna... He's gonna square this trailer up. We're gonna tuck it in here right by these forklifts. We're just gonna drop the trailer and leave it here for now. Um, hopefully Daniel will be okay with that. But we'll come back and get it later as soon as we get, uh, as soon as we're ready to pick this unit back up. All right, buddy, we got Mike getting the chains off. I'm gonna give him a hand real quick. Just wanted to give a little quick shot of that. This is kind of like our candy store here. We love this place. All the toys that a man would ever want are at Cat. Well, I love coming down here and checking all the cool stuff out. Okay. Got number one off. Got Mike in there. He's going to get that one off. That's the rental. Going to return that. <clears throat> got to get this old girl figured out, see what's going on with it. Got that shoot problem. It's not functioning properly. It's got to be something electrical is what I'm assuming. Um, but I'm not the best with uh, doing that. So we brought it back here since we had a little bit of time. I'll let them figure it out. It needs a 500 hour service anyway, so we're gonna do that too. Got to tell him about that. <laughs> Somehow one of the guys pulled out one of the one of the heater vents. I don't ask me how, but I gotta get one of those too. Yeah, we'll do this. You park the What's that? You gotta park the trailer? Yeah, I was gonna see if we could leave it there for right now or if you want me to put it somewhere else. And then when we come back to get the machine, we'll uh yeah, get out of the way. Yeah. Park by him. Park it right against as the tight as we get it over there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the There's a beautiful tractor there. I could spend all day in this parking lot, but anyhow. So we got the blower dropped off over here by the shop. Heck, maybe I can get him to uh, get me one of these. That's what I need right there. Third valve, brand new, 938. That's a nice, nice little perfect size machine for what we do. Uh, can fit in tight spots. It's got the third valve. You can put a blade on it. It's got the power to do quite a bit, but also small enough to where you can really get into some tight spaces um that would be a great addition to our fleet daniel so uh i hope uh you see this and uh maybe uh if i get enough views maybe the guys at cat can help me out with get one of those um i'm sure i'll have to pay but maybe i can get a maybe i can get a good deal anyways um so we're gonna get out of here we're actually gonna head out to the ranch um i've got a place out here that we keep some equipment and it's kind of like my off-grid uh place that uh i'm gonna be doing some stuff this summer out there hopefully we'll get that on the channel you guys will get to see we're gonna build an off-grid studio out there so i want to take you guys out there and show you the property and kind of explain my ideas for what i'm gonna do hopefully you guys will be interested in that and i'll get a lot of views with that but it's gonna be like an off-grid studio solar powered um battery system um just kind of a place to go and get away from everybody so we're gonna be heading out there this morning it's not far from town it's just north of town about 10 minutes just in the foothills it's really cool kind of secluded um uh we'll head out there and show you guys what's going on out there all right let's get on out there are you kidding me 
Sadie, you're not supposed to be up there. Your mom's gonna get mad. She says I'm tearing up her car. All right, so we got the, uh, got the skids dropped off out back. We're gonna run in here real quick. Say hi to Daniel. Haven't seen him for a minute, so let's pop in and see what he's up to. So we just popped in here to Cat Parts and Service Department. These guys right here work hard to get us all our parts that we need. And uh, it's just been a great relationship working here with these guys. They really take good care of us and make sure our machines are up and running. We got all the stuff we need for our maintenance, all that kind of stuff. So it's just been a pleasure working with Quinn Cat in Bakersfield. We, we really enjoy these guys and uh, we really appreciate all the hard work they do for us. Probably have to get some merch too, maybe. So this is where all the magic happens in the shop. Got the big boy toys. All right, here we got Daniel. Daniel Eccles, he's my, uh, our rep. He's been helping us out with uh, Cat. Probably going on 10 years now. It's been seven, eight, maybe, maybe a little longer than that. And uh, they take really good care of us. When we decided to get in the snow business, he came through, got us what we needed, the blowers and the skids. And uh, that's what got us started last year. And um, so, you know, with the help of these guys, we've been able to uh, really grow our business, both on the dirt side and the snow side. So it's just been a great relationship and uh, very thankful for Daniel here. He's really helped us out a bunch. Standpoint, these are way better. Yeah, because you know, there's the more hills. surface on the ground, right? Well, it's not only that, but it's like, uh, it's like, the, the siphage in your, in your in the tread on your vehicles right gotcha so you're going to get a lot better traction well they, they definitely would side. ride a lot better though don't 100%, they 100 yeah 100 percent. yeah because yeah. every like time it. every time it rolls over these idlers on those blocks you kind of have that ka -chug, ka -chug, ka -chug, yeah ka -chug, i know the, those you know. those original ones like what were on mine um i uh i got the aftermarket ones that were more similar to this you yeah. know and uh i like them I don't know, I haven't really paid attention to the wear on them, but I, I definitely like the way they ride a lot better. Yeah, there's sure. an actually a, an, a mud and snow version of this. It basically visually looks very similar to this, but it has a little bit more ribbing in it Yeah. to, to get that you know that movement in the track to get better bite in it. Gotcha, um, that's pretty cool. yeah, these work super well. So did somebody order these? Uh, yeah, these are all sold, those are sold. Oh, look at that 289 yeah, right there, that's whole beautiful. A whole bunch back here as well. Basically right now we're still dealing yeah these with things are like gold issues. they're hard to come by that's for sure yeah, yeah we're still, um, still dealing with inventory issues but we can get gear yeah you know it's a it's a couple months but so we are heading out to my property uh north of town uh, we call this place oil filled ranch uh, i bet you can't guess why but anyhow uh we've got few hundred acres out here and um, it's kind of tied in with some other ranches out here we run a little bit of cows out here uh, well we don't run them um, there's there's actually uh, another rancher that's out here run some cows we keep uh, I, what are you doing yeah butts Bud's pretty excited. He hasn't been out here in quite a while, so uh, you can hear. <laughs> He's definitely happy to be coming out here. Starting to get green out here. Got a lot of rain this year, so that's a good thing. A lot more than we've normally had, so the grass is going to be pretty good out here this year. That's. Uh, that's a good thing. Well, as you can see, it's still pretty darn wet. We got a monumental amount of rain down here. And uh, so I just got the gate opened up. <clears throat> this is our, our little cattle ranch here. And uh, it goes all the way back up in here, but um, the grass is just looking beautiful right now. And uh, this rain's just really done something for this place. And I uh, can't wait to see what it looks like here in a couple months. I think we're going to get a lot more. So that's going to be a real good thing for us. But uh, I'm going to take you up top and show you what's going on with my off-grid um, ideas and stuff. And hope you, hopefully you guys are interested in that as well. 
Um, that's that'll be also part of the stuff that we're going to be doing uh, throughout, uh, you know, the spring, summer. We kind of go back and forth, so it's a lot of we'll be up in Mammoth quite a bit, but we'll also be uh, kind of bouncing back and forth down here, working on this place and some other stuff that we got. So yeah, I know Owen got stuck out here. I haven't been out here um, in a while, but I had this road like really nice. <laughs> and of course he decided to come out here when it was really wet. And he ended up getting his truck stuck somewhere down here. I'm not even sure where he got it stuck at, but uh, I think we're gonna find out. I mean, this road is just torn to pieces now. So I'm gonna have to get the little dozer out that we have and ah wow this is this is insane I haven't seen it this muddy out here um, ever oh yeah I see the truck up there it's, it looks like it's still still stuck but you can see the amount of water that came down through here that's something else just uh, quite a bit here I mean this must have been like a river flowing down through here Okay, well, it looks like uh, this might have been as far as he made it the other day, so I got to get all the way up there. Um, so I think we're going to have to walk up there. I, I believe he took the keys to that pickup and took them up there to our, our spot where we keep our keys for the stuff out here. And uh, so it looks like me, Sadie, and Bud are going to go for a walk right now. Uh, because I can't get around that truck. <clears throat> and I also need to get it back up there. So come on guys. They're super happy to be out here. They love it out here. This is like their favorite place. So yeah, he definitely, uh, looks like he made it up to here. That, that pickup's two wheel drive. So uh, I wasn't gonna get up in the mud. It wasn't gonna make it up, especially with the trailer on the back. But uh all right, so we're going to go on up the road, walk up there, and find the keys to this thing. Hopefully, uh, the battery's not dead or anything like that. It's been, I think it's probably been sitting here for two or three weeks. So we're going to get that, get this thing back up where it goes, and I'll show you some more stuff out here at the ranch. Well, you can see Sadie over there. She's having a real good time. You know, some people say they don't care for this stuff out here, but I really enjoy it being out here. Right now, it's just uh, a beautiful time of year to be out here with this lush green get grass, and it's good for the cattle. And, uh, it's just a plentiful year all around with the water that we've been getting and the snow. California was in desperate need of it. So I'm really glad that uh, we got what we have so far. <clears throat> Hopefully uh, we're going to get a lot more, get all these reservoirs filled up and get enough water so that, uh, you know, the drought can kind of go away all right folks so we made it up to the top quite the little hike as you can see that's our rigs down there so had to come up here and get the key for that one truck And I'll have to walk back down there, drive it up, and then I'll have to walk back down again, but at least it's downhill all the way back. So here's a spot out to the southeast of the property. That's my neighbor. His ranch goes all the way back up into there. And then uh, our place goes to the north towards Pozo Creek. I'll show you some more of that. So those are some dirt bike ramps that uh, probably shouldn't even have those, but uh, we actually ride dirt bikes a little bit here and there. And uh, had another piece of property that I had 
and those were left on there by the previous owner so we ended up with them we've never used them probably never will but uh i brought them out here maybe somebody can come out and help me set them up on a safe area you know not nothing we're gonna get hurt on but anyhow so here's my two little ranch dozers that i have that's my 415 skip and scrape there and uh this is kind of our little home place that we will come out here and stay and camp and you know we got we got our guns and all that stuff we like to shoot those here and there i've been out here in quite some time it looks like we got a lot of wind out here and i see a lot of things tipped over and stuff like that it's been a while so we're gonna kind of get things cleaned up around here but other than uh some minor issues with the wind it looks like everything's been pretty good so but there sure was a lot of rain i'll tell you what and as you can see back off this way that's all up towards glenville so these are all the foothills and this place here backs up to some other ranches so it's pretty much all cattle country all the way up through there and uh I got BLM over here that backs up to my land and um, it's just a real cool place and it's not too far from town so really enjoy coming out here and like I was saying earlier you know up, up here on this little knoll we are going to uh, that's going to be our studio site um, we're going to be building an off-grid studio that's kind of the high point of the whole property so once I get that done up there it's gonna kind of overlook the whole property here and it give us a good vantage point, you know, cause everybody comes in on that road down there. And there's also a way to get in over here too, but we use this road. And uh, so it's just a nice kind of perch where you can sit up and uh, overlook your, your spread. You can see who's coming. All right, guys, we got lucky battery wasn't dead on the rig so I'm gonna make my way up the old dirt road here well I, I'm I'm surprised this road ain't washed out especially like right here because uh, a lot of water comes down through right there you can see uh, even some water still standing there but um, that rain just made a mess of everything but that's fine because we got a lot of good grass out of it and that's what we were looking for so uh i'm real happy about it so these are my little ranch dozers that one there i, I actually put quite a bit of money into that one it's got brand new tracks it's got a new final drive in it. Uh, these got six way blade on them and all that. So they're great for the roads up here. We love uh, using them on the roads. This one here, she needs a little bit of love, but um, it's still, she's still running. But I just, I thought you guys might think these are pretty cool. Um, use them on the roads and kind of mess around with them. They're uh, kind of fun to, to play around with them up here. So we are making our last trip back down the hill. Got to get down to the car down there. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and head back to town. I got a couple more things to take care of in town. And then uh, sounds like I'll be able to get on the road and get back up to Mammoth tonight. <clears throat> so uh, that's what we're trying to do today's payday for the guys so got to be up there for that um, got to make it up back up there before five o'clock tonight make sure everybody gets taken care of and all that good stuff so i got we got our uh our subcontractors working with us up there he's uh he's tracking all our man hours uh we're gonna go through his hours that we owe him for and uh make sure that everything aligns with what the guys worked and we're going to get everybody paid. It's a big process just getting everybody paid when you got these many guys. But uh, that'll be going on later on tonight. Not sure if you'll get to see that or not. But um, that's kind of where we're headed after this. All right, guys. 
we are leaving the ranch sadie and bud had a good time they got to stretch their legs a bit um i'm gonna head back into town like i said i got to do a couple more things and then we're gonna get it back on the road do a little road trip back up to mammoth get everybody taken care of up there and we're gonna start looking forward to the next week which will probably be a lot less trucking going on and uh, quite a bit less manpower so hopefully it doesn't bore you guys too much it's definitely not going to be the uh hectic fast-paced uh lifestyle that we were doing the last three weeks it'll still going to be some cool stuff going on but uh um you know just on a lower pace which is actually i'm really looking forward to that because i can spend some time with my dogs hopefully Lori, my wife she'll be able to come up and uh we're going to spend some time together and you know we're going to take advantage of this time in between the storms and get some quality time uh with our family and um hopefully my, some of my guys can uh, get some time off and everybody can get a good recharge and you know hopefully you know we get these big storms coming through in uh late february and march i've actually got something new coming for the channel um, i'm really excited about it sunday um, we are going to start doing our own weather forecast i had i was actually contacted by a, a forecaster a meteorologist that's got over 30 years experience he's got his own channel he, he mostly does stuff in the Midwest, but um, he's gonna do some stuff for us out here in Mammoth and see how, how it works out. Um, I'm not gonna say anything yet um, about any of that until uh, he actually gets the first forecast out. Hopefully he gets it right on the money. That's what we're looking for. That's what everybody wants. I think it's gonna be a really good addition to the channel if he starts providing a weekly forecast for us. So, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm coming up with some new ideas for some new content. I, I want to keep you guys interested in what we're doing. So let me know in the comments below what you think about uh, today and what we did this morning. And I will keep things coming so we can uh, keep moving forward. Thanks, guys.